Now I drilled the hole for my lock line. Now, before I group that in, like I said, I'll run those wires through the lock line. It's a little easier to do that now. But now I've got that one drilled. I'm going to drill another one on this side for my switch for my um, AOI board. Now I added a switch to turn my AOI on and off. All I did was drill it and wire it in. For the AOI, it's the third one down, the bottom one down. Switch one, switch two. So that'll turn my AOI board on and off. Now I just took my wire and I cut the length of my lock line. And what I did was I just I stuck the wire in the jaw to the drill and twisted it. So it makes a nice braid. And I'm just gonna work this down it down the lock line. Okay, what I did was I took some epoxy and I glued the lid on so that um, I, like, I scrubbed it up and so the epoxy will hold. So now my next step after gluing my lid on for my bottle, I'm going to put a phototransistor on. There's different types. This is a side phototransistor you can use. Um, you'll notice that uh, one pin's longer than the other. The longer pin's the emitter, the shorter pin's the collector. And what I'm going to do is solder them onto these two wires here. Okay, I soldered my black wire to my short wire, which is my collector, and my red wire to the longer one, and that's my emitter. And I put a little bit of shrink tube on there to help so they don't come together and ca catch and uh, short out. So once I do that, And I'll put an O-ring in there to help seal that. And I'll pull my wires up a little bit, but now when I do this, this type of emitter has a little button on this side. This is what has to face the other camera. A little button right there. So that's got to face your, your camera or your flash from your from your trail cam. And that's what the end will look like. Okay, now I'm going to wire up my emitter and collector. And you'll see down here in the bottom of the board, I put a, I have a two-pin connector. One says E, one's C, one's emitter, and one's collector. Remember, my red wire was my emitter. So I'm going to connect those two. Now, as you can see, I have it wired up. I have uh, E for emitter, that's my red wire, and C for collector, which is my black wire. And that'll pick up the flash from the other, from the trail cam. Now we'll wire up the power to the slave and the trigger. Okay, now this is the power to my slave, so I want to hook it up. To, uh, to my AOI board.
Okay, now I want to uh, wire up my trigger for my slave. My blue will be my F negative, and white will be F positive. So go ahead and we can connect those up. Okay, now I wired that up, and you'll see my blue is my F negative, and my white, which is normally red, is my F positive. Uh, it doesn't matter the color wire as long as you have them in the right spots. So that's my trigger. The trigger is my slave to fire. Now all I need now is a power supply. Okay, what I did was put this. I put a 4D holder in the lid. This is why I wanted to use a. Uh, this is an S3 T2500 case. Um, was because I wanted to use. Um, more battery power. Um, some of my cameras can take five, six hundred pictures. I want something to match it with as far as a slave goes. Um, so I have my holder in. I got my wires, and all I got to do is wire, wire it up, and it'll be on my first terminal and my fourth terminal. The first terminal will be positive, and the fourth terminal will be negative. And like I said, um, I wired my battery holder in just to power to my board. I want six volt. Top one is positive, fourth one down is negative. And that's pretty much the build. Um, now, what I did do is I, you can do different things. I made a, a cover. that I can put in and I put my batteries in here so my batteries if they fall out they're not going to short out my board or the or the plus I don't get my fingers down here where it's not supposed to be so that's one way of doing things and what I'll do then too is we'll make a uh, we'll camo it and if I decide that I want to uh, if I decide I want to make it infrared, all I got to do is put some infrared material over top of here. I had a piece here. I was looking for it. Yeah, I just got a piece here. Infrared would be black. I just have to cut it. I can cut it here and I'll glue that in. And it'll be an infrared and it'll pick up infrared. So you'll extend your flash range for your infrared. 